production really you may remember him from mtv that wasn't me <laughs> you may also remember him from Encinco man that was me and son-in-law mm, yeah okay that was me <laughs> all right um it's totally Polly, aka the weasel all right mr Polly sure how you doing Polly? good just going to get some food right now just kind of hungry you know right just right. went to the ymca got on the treadmill for a while uh. So, you know, you got to need a little nourishment, trying to lose some weight, you know. Uh, I hear you, I hear you. Yeah, yeah. So, um, why don't you don't tell... Be, don't want to be too chubby, you know. <laughs> gotta, well, when you're Seattle, it's kind of, you know, you got to watch your weight around here. Right, right, right. Why don't you um, tell our audience um, in Tacoma how you started off in your career as a comic and going into an actor and things like that? Um, well... Do you want the short version or the long version? Any version you want to give us. I'll give you the wrong version. The wrong? Yeah, okay. instead of the short or the long. Uh, the wrong version. Word. I was actually born a poor black child <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in a small town outside of uh, Detroit. Uh, My families, we had nothing. Mm. You know, we had nothing. We all we had to eat out of one shoe. <laughs> and the other shoe we used as, a, as, a, as like a, a bed. Oh, wow. We would sleep in that, yeah, like little old man in the shoe box, uh, okay. right? And then we would stay in there, and uh, and then, you know, and one day I just came in the living room, well, not the living room, but the shoe area, uh -huh. and I just told a joke, and that was it. And then my, my, my dad was like, man, you could be something. You could be funny, man, like Bill Cogby. Right, right. And then that's how I did it, and then I, now we're here in Tacoma going to get some food. Yeah, I heard you actually um, skipped Hugh Hefner's um, little birthday party there. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, you just reminded me. Yeah, it's a big party tonight. Oh, man. Yep. I skipped that to hang out with you in Tacoma. Hey. I mean, what's better than that? Anyone can go to the Playboy Mansion. Oh, is that right? Yeah, well, you can go. You just got to rob someone. Yeah. But you've done that before, so you know how to do it. <laughs> are you in college? Yes, we are in college. You look a little old to be in college. Oh, yeah, you know. But we have college students of all different um, ages right, there. No, no but college. It's one of those kind of colleges, right? Yeah, Tacoma Community College. Oh, I get it. Okay. Right? Yeah. That's where I would be going if I was here. Is that right? Probably. Uh. So what are your views on college and some advice for college students who want to kind of, you know, I excel think and become? you want to make yourself more knowledgeable and I'm for it. Is that right? Yeah, I think if, if you're interested in something and you, you know, yeah, that's where you go to college. You right. know, and you want to learn something. Right. That's the place. Right. I'm going to go to college this summer. Is that right? Yep. Which college? Uh, college UCLA. Here, we're at the restaurant now. Oh, definitely, definitely. Is this the place that's open for food? Uh, yeah, this not is the pool hall. hall no. Mm. Mm. What's that on the corner over there? With the, the Where's the place to get some food around here? You said Jillian's. Well, yeah, but isn't that like a big pool hall thing? Well, they serve food there, too. I don't really know. Mm. What else is around here? By the time this is over, I mean, we could do that. Go down and make a ride or something. I can just eat at the restaurant at the hotel. Four to five. Anything. It's already a quarter to, it's already a quarter to five. Let's just go back to the hotel. <laughs> What's up, what's up? This is Dominic Coit here from What's Up College Edition here back with Polly Shore. Hi. We're back here. We're now back into the hotel. Um, and we're going to continue the interview inside now. We figure we do a lot of locations for you guys, so it's not just all stagnant in one place. So it's a multi-interview, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. One thing I wanted to ask you about, Polly, was um, your new direction as far as directing movies. Um, You'll never wheeze in this town again. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the plot, who's in it, and when it will be out in theaters? Uh, the, the, the movie's called You'll Never Wheeze in This Town Again, and, and everyone plays himself. I play myself in it. And the premise is I fake my debt to become famous again. That's like the line, because like m my whole life goes in the toilet, like Carrot Top moves into my house, parking cars at the comedy store, and, and just things just are bad. You know, my character, things just turn out really bad, and then... You know, Sam Kennison, I don't want to tell the whole thing, you know what I mean, just because it's like, it, you know, I don't know, I don't want to tell the whole thing, but it's, I fake my death, and then I go into jail, and, you know, it's just, it's a crazy roller coaster right. of stuff that happens, and, uh, 
and it's something that I did, um, I put together myself with some friends, and, and we just did it. And it's a script I've been working on for about four years, and, and I'm really proud of it. It's the, it's the, it's the uh, I don't know, it's the hardest thing I've ever done. It's the best thing I've ever done, I, th I think. And I think that the fans will really like it, and I think the people that don't like my old stuff will really like it, too. Because it's not, it's, it's not exactly like my old stuff, but yet it's, it's a different type of funny. You know what I mean? So. Where did um, the name The Weasel come from? Uh, this guy named Steve. Steve. Steve, yeah. Um, what, 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 what exactly, <laughs> what exactly did it mean? Oh, I don't know. We don't want to talk about that. Okay. We got all these kids here. It's too oh. funny. Oh, okay. You know, huh? On the weekends, yeah. <laughs> you got to come around here. I can't see you. Here's a fan of the Poly Shore. Nice to see you. Let me see, turn, let, turn, let me see your bop hair. Your bop hair do. I love your movie, Cinema. Thank, oh, thank you very much. Cool. Hi, you guys. Hi, you Hello. Guys. Hi. Look at how she is. Say that to the camera. Let me see you say that to the camera. No, to the camera. I don't know how. Just like you just said it to me. Like that. Right to the camera. Pretend I'm the camera. Look at the camera. And say it. Can I have your No, you didn't say it like that. You said, can I have your autograph? There you go. Yeah, here you go. I've seen your movie. You have? What's your name? Chelsea. Hi. Hello. So we're just here, you know, this is what we do. People come up, you sign autographs, make them happy, you know? Yeah, yeah. So good. Mm -hmm. There you go. Look at her little outfit, Dean. Oh my God. Wow. This is so funny. We're going to let you get something to eat. Yeah, and, um, some food. But yeah, people, you see, it'll be coming out in the fall time, and they can look on the website, polyshore.com, P-A-U-L-Y-S-H-R-E, mm -hmm. to find out what it's about and who's in it, and uh, and just look forward to it, you know? It's going to be a really cool piece, you know? So people will be, it's funny but emotional, and also, uh, I don't know, it's got a lot of different people in it, and it's different, so we want to see something different. All right, guys. Well, we'll definitely um, be checking out for it. Thank you, Mr. Polly Shaw. What's up, College Edition?